Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Rekka, shall we? Alex, good evening, good to see you. Well, in this game, we get to be a witch. And from the videos that I've seen, it looks pretty interesting as like, kind of a survival builder, maybe? As we move around in our Baba Yaga house on legs. Hey, Hermie, Mouse, good evening, good to see you, everybody. So let's give this a shot. I'm gonna start for the first time. There was a time when the land knew magic in its bones, when man knew of nature, not machines. The old ways were respected then and witches revered. A better world, perhaps, but time moves on, and if we do not move with it, the age of witchcraft will be lost to us forever. I feel the approach of one who may prove ready for such challenges, who can embrace our past and unlock our future, one who has known hardship and pain. She has traveled far, yet the path ahead of her will prove greater than she has ever known. Our downfall or our salvation, only time will tell. Hey, Mina, good evening. Good to see you. I saw that, Mina. Thank you for telling me. That was very exciting. That kind of came out of nowhere, but yeah, they're up to our Branches of Darkmire action. All right, so we're going to design our witch. This is us, and okay, looks like we have a little backpack and traditional, uh, you know, witch garb i suppose so let's see what do we want here well what kind of skin tone options do we have i do not see a blue skin tone so we'll go with this this is gonna be fine um let's see body head all right what can we do to this witch i know Hermie. none you know this is witches for you though you get to choose freckles so we're gonna go with just an incredible amount of freckles and uh, what faces do we have? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like that. That looks pretty good. Cold fog. I mean, that's that's appropriate. Clear ice. Good, good. Let's see what kind of hairstyle. So she's got, like, two braids and some uh, spindly bangs swept across. That's okay. Let's see what other choices we could have. We could have uh, a very prim circular braid uh we could do a kind of same style but a little bit playful you know hair coming down we could go for serious curls a nearly shaved head um yeah yeah let's see i know yeah i think i kind of like um no, this is too, like, Wednesday, Adams. Uh, I'm going to go... I like this. Okay, let's see here. And then... Uh, color. Okay, well, we can, we can change the color of our awesome hair. And let's see, what do we have? Oh, but we can get real light. Oh, you can, like, multicolor it. It might have already been multicolored. And I just... Yeah, because it was dark, I didn't notice. But, yeah, we've got a little... You know, fun in there. Let's go for... Uh, ah, here we go. We can change it. We can give it some hue, some warmth. And that's better. We go. And... Uh, it's looking more like the channel avatar there. Okay, yeah. Hey, hey, Fading. Good evening. Good to see you. She does not. I hope not. I mean, if she does, though, she's a witch, so she probably doesn't care, you know. That's right. That's what it is, Hermie. Oh, cool, Alex. I'm hoping it's good. Yeah, Nightingale seems good. It'll be nice to get a fresh start, see what they did with it. Have you checked out the Core Keeper update at all? Um, let's see. We're gonna go... We're gonna warm up these brows a little bit. Brows are too cold. Alright, we're gonna hit this. That looks good. Okay. Yeah, this is a witch. 
Do not mess with me. All right. Um, let's see what kind of. Let's look at our clothing. And uh, all right, I've got this set here, but I could go for like a little jacket. I could have a lighter jacket. Um, all dark. Grim, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Okay, great, great. So it sounds like we're going to have a, a lot of fun this week on stream. Two good updates to some games that I enjoy. Um, do I want a coat? You know, if you're a witch, it's always a question. Oh, cool, they put the backpack on outside the coat. Um, yeah, this is like impractical, but it says witch. What about our interior clothing? Do we want... Um, that's definitely more witch-like. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't know how, like, full-on lace goth I want to go. Like, this is a nice balance, I feel like. Okay. Accessories. Oh, headscarf. Yeah. Okay, Alex. Um... That looks good. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I don't want the crazy front. Um, I could do a maybe, you know. Yeah, the choker seems pretty obligatory. Um, yeah, I like the, the shawl. It's like, it says witch very loudly. And it provides some protection. This is like armor plus 50. All right. And we can move around. There we go. Um, okay, so... Yep, looking around. I got it. I'm sprinting. I jumped. I'm a witch on the move. Don't stop me. Now, I don't really need to customize my character anymore. I feel good about this. What do I do? Do I just leave this and do I use this book? Or do I just run away? Maybe the job here is to just run for the hills. Do you want to continue? If you want to keep customize, select stay. No, no, no. I don't want to. I want to keep. I want to go. Edible mushrooms. That's a good first start. You need to know what you can eat here in the woods. All right. We're out there, everybody. We made it. I've seen that, Alex. How is that game, my friend? I believe there's some others on the channel who have been checking that out. I think Chef Smitty was playing that. Oh. Alright. What you got going out here? I see a wagon. Hi, I'm just a normal person. It's Bogdan, the merchant. Gah! One of the damn wheels fell off. I think it rolled down the path toward the bridge. Shoddy workmanship, I tell ya. Could you find it for me, please? Well, that sounds fun, Alex. That's a great question, um, Fading. Stel Stellar Monarch 1 was good. I don't know if I played 2. You got a wheel problem? Well... You need to grow a thicker mustache and it won't fall off. All right, let me go get it for you. You said it went down over the bridge? Oh, here it is. I see it. I got it. Oh, I definitely have a wheel. All right. Hey, look at these donkeys. Hi, guys. How you doing? You want this wheel? I'll give it to you. Oh, my gosh. What's in that container? Is that a demon that he's got there? I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised I'm a witch, but... um. Ah, you found my wheel. Thank you. Wouldn't have gotten much further than that. Hey, you look familiar. No, don't say it. It'll come to me. Felix, mocking squeal and grunts. Getting old? How dare you, Felix. I never forget a face, but occasionally I misplace them. <laughs> Good one, Herbie. Oh, that's too bad, Alex. Curious grunts. Hmm, you're right. They don't look like they've been through some trouble. Excited squeaks and grunts. I know you like trouble as much as the next uh, 
Zilladin, but it's rude to pry. I'm sorry about my uh, business associate. He gets overexcited sometimes. Really must throw him down a well one of these days. Oh, that doesn't sound very pleasing. Threatening grunts. Yeah, yeah, not in that bottle you won't. Look, I'm going to be staying around these parts for a while. You need anything, you come see me. Oh, I'm not giving you this wheel. I just wanted to show you that it's mine now and I'm taking it. I'll give you a good price on my wares. Outrage squeaking. Okay, okay, our wares. Uh, who are you? They call me Bogdan. It's not my real name, but it'll do for now. I'm a traveling merchant. No roots for me. Give Bogdan four wheels, thanks to you, the open road in front and the stars above. Uh, where are we? I've lost my way. You are in the western part of the lands of Jawia. If you go further down the road, you'll get into a small village called Kopnik. They don't get many visitors, so I'm sure they'll have work going if you're interested. That's true, it would be a nice ship's wheel. It's barely a sneeze of houses and fields, but the river next to it is a real beauty. Okay, I need to figure out how to sneeze houses and fields into existence. Um, what's this creature in the bottle? Oh, so you could see him. Most folks can't. You have to be a bit, shall we say, broad-minded to see the likes of Felix. And since you asked, he's a Zilden. Basically what happens when you give chaos legs and teeth. That's a good plan. Good job doing that. I'll t tell you more about how we crossed paths later. Right now, I need to get this wheel fixed. You mind yourself now. All right, buddy. Goodbye. Fine. Fix it. You do that. All right, I'm going to run by you. Oh, a scarecrow. You got anything for me? Well, you're pretty low to the ground. You got to get up higher, scarecrow. All right. Here's a person. Hi. Is this Kopnik? Your fence is too tall. That was a good job. What are you doing sitting over here? Got a little bench? It's Vidimir. Welcome to Kopnik, young traveler. You look like you've been on the road a little too long. Really? We'll, we'll give it away. If you want to earn some coins, you may find work here. We can always use a hand on our farms. Be mindful of the woods, though. Not everyone around here is as nice as me. Some will pop you in a stew as soon as look at you. Wow. Sounds like a pretty good stew. Uh, I'm just fooling, but there's an old woman out there that says... Some say she's been on the uh, witchy side. Now we're talking. I like the witchy side. All right, let's go get some coins. So the town is on my map. You can see there's a goat. Nothing more sinister than these goats. And there's some other people here doing their daily thrill ride of an activity. She's upset. She's just bored. This guy's got a vest and a dream. Okay. I guess, should I talk to you folk? This is, uh, Marius. Uh, hello. Tell me about the old woman in the woods. Give her a wide berth. She's a dangerous relic of our dark past. Um, if she represents the past, what's the future? Have you been living in a cave, young one? The highest lord, of course. That's who most right-thinking folk believe in. Oh, right, okay. Um, what about Kopnik? We're an outpost at the western border of Jawia. Not many visitors come here. Most are just passing through, transporting their wares to the west by boat. Yes, I have a dream of having a boat. I have a wheel to the boat around here somewhere. We're proud of our farmlands and, of course, our river. It connects our little village to the rest of Jawia. I am also quite proud of my hat. This decoration is not just something I picked up off the ground, but is carefully arranged by me. 
Okay, uh, what's the river like? It runs slowly here like thick pumpkin soup. Gross. Means you'll see a few swamps about. Usually they attract mosquitoes, but thank your stars you've not come here during summer. Otherwise, the air would be thicker than soup with the little devils. There's a lot of soup metaphors going around here. Goodbye. Hi, are you okay? Oh dear, this is Raslana. Um, what's wrong? Bluebell Bodkin, one of my beloved babies, is gone missing. She must have squeezed through the fence. Can you see if you could spot her? The herd is worried sick, and so am I. Um, where should I look for her? She must be somewhere in the nearby woods. I've tried searching for her myself, but she's a naughty little thing and loves to play, so I suspect she's hiding from me. Maybe one of my neighbors has seen her. Um, okay. Do you often lose your goats? They're a particularly mischievous breed, always running off or hiding or getting stuck in things. Scamps, the lots of them. My neighbors don't even bother helping me look anymore. All right. I know, Hermie. Um... I think I need to find the woman in the woods before I realize my magical touch. Apparently, I need to find a uh, a missing goat. Yeah, it's 95% goat-driven endeavors. All right, let's see. Looks like some nice box gardens here. Let me walk into this. Oh, wow. What is that? It's a cool little oven there. Is that like a radiated jade you've got? It's very nice. It might be. Let's see if we can get some of these wreaths out of here. Hmm. What are you all about, lady? Oh, Traveler, do you have a moment? I do. What's bothering you? I just thought you might have seen my dear friend, Jacob, on your travels. He set out many months ago to explore the nearby lands. He's not returned, and there has been no word from him since. Wow, interesting, Fading. All right, then. So it's a... It's a traditional thing that I didn't know. Siloom, good evening. Good to see you. I've seen Jacob. I mean, I saw a skeleton. I assume it had a name tag. It said Jacob. I hope he's not forgotten us. He said there was a scrawled note in his skeletal hand. It said, I've forgotten everyone from Kopnik. It's the last thing I did before I died. Um, have you seen a baby goat around here? I think I spotted one running in the direction of the old well. Hope she's not fallen in. Those things get everywhere. Um, alright. I just was at the well. Or maybe this is the new well. This is the brand new well. So, I mean, the game looks really interesting, right? The lighting is nice. I'm going down the well. I'm sending my love down the well. I hear the goat. I hear a bleeding. I know a bleat when I hear a bleat. Dunja. Would you come over here for a minute? I want to throw you in the dunja. What? Could you help me, please? Man, people in this town need a lot of help. What you need? I never realized how quite heavy pumpkins were until I was the only one left to bring in the harvest. Could you spare the time to help me? Um, you said you're the only one left? My husband died last year. He was very sick. We had so many plans, but now I'm running our farm alone. Wow. All right. So she, she played the husband card on me. All right. Um, I'll help you. Even though it's not a big plot, it's tough to work, and I miss him every day. Okay, I can I can see that. I'm sorry. Um, can't the others help you? They do from time to time, but I'm not a local, and some can forget that. He he might have died carrying pumpkins. He might have been crushed by a pumpkin. 
Uh, where do you want me to bring them? If you could carry the remaining pumpkins into the barn, my arms would be so grateful. You can just put them right next to the others. Um, have you seen the goat? I could swear I heard some goat noises from the pumpkin farm. You better hurry, there's an old well and the little thing could easily fall in. Oh my god, they're sending me down the well. Goodbye. The husband's hiding in the woods, he's like, I can't lift another pumpkin. It's best she thinks I'm just dead. Alright. I dropped it. There. I'm all done. Alright, let me find this goat. Oh my god, this tree fell right through their house. I hear the goat. I think I do. Hey. Nan, what's up, my friend? Yes, I am. Here we are. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, good one, Hermie. Kid pro quo, pumpkin pro quo. Kid pro pumpkin. All right. I mean, do I need to get all of these for you? Is the goat marked on my map? I think that's what she... She's like, no, 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 not over there. What are you doing with all those pumpkins? I'm sorry. I just keep giving you pumpkins. You know, they pick up really easily, actually. They're not very heavy. You should grow carrots, something uh, not as heavy. There we go. Look, I'll get all your pumpkins in exchange for all your pumpkins. I harvested some more pumpkins. Oh my, you're too kind. Here, take these for your efforts. There's still a few left. Could you just nudge them into the barn? Um, I received one pumpkin. A wreath. A bunch of pumpkins. Um, goodbye. Oh, did I not nudge him far enough? I don't know. I think I did a good job. You can do the rest. She's going to go tell everybody, like, she never had a husband. She's just going to tell everyone in the village, like, I told that fool newcomer that my husband died. She did all the pumpkins. It was amazing. Interact. Goat. I got a chicken nest. And a vase with wheat. But no goats. Oh my god, this man's being attacked by birds. You poor fool. Get off, you nasty creatures. What's wrong with you? Um, what's the matter? See those birds? Shifty looking things, beady eyes, like berries. <laughs> That's interesting, Nan. They're pretty similar. See those birds? Shifty. I could swear they're following me, stalking me, in fact. I can't scare them off. They must belong to that old crone in the woods. That's terrifying, Hermie. Um, he's probably just got birdseed all over his hat like somebody did it as a joke and didn't tell him. She's pretty shifty. If you help me get rid of him, I'll make it worth your while. Uh, why are they stalking you? I may have asked a hag to bless my fishing, and I may have accidentally forgotten to pay her. Don't let anyone say that I went to her. They'd laugh at me for sure, but I always pass by her hut on the way to the best fishing spot, so I thought... Maybe she could help me out. I had the money to pay her honestly, but I lost it in a game of Tickle My Pumpkin. I don't even know 
Is that like street? Is that a euphemism for, you know, prostitution? Like, what what are we talking about here? Um, I'll see what I could do. Tell me about the old woman in the woods. She's not someone to be trusted. Keep your distance. I know. Is she dangerous? She practices dark arts that most dare not speak of, like helping me with my fishing. Any trouble around here, she's usually behind it. Alright, goodbye. Goodbye. You made your own bed. It'll be like in Diablo, where it's just like, you know, the druid gets the murder of ravens. Like, she's just going to give me more ravens to send at this guy. Go collect my fees from that no good hat wearing fisherman. Alright. The goat. My god, man, the goat. Where did it go? You. Where's the goat? Pavel, now listen here. You tread carefully, youngster. These woods are home to many dangers for the unwary and unprepared. Some of the old folk even say that an accident, bony with a uh, witch with iron teeth, lives in them. Yeah, Nan, it's great. It, it allows it so, like, people on Twitch or YouTube can talk and then it relays the chat to both platforms. It's fantastic. One that's been known to lure children into her hut and eat them. Oh boy. They say she wants to keep old practices alive and that she worships ancient gods. Nonsense, says I. Witches are relics of the old world. New beliefs have been spreading throughout the area for hundreds of years now. Sensible, right-thinking people believe in those. Our god prefers a different kind of compliance. Much more civilized. I see no witch, just an old lady who talks to birds and mutters over herbs. But still, I'd steer clear of her. Do as you will, I won't be stopping you. You did stop me. You've been told about a location. I can find it. Okay, thanks. Where's the goat? Ah, got nothing to say about the goat. Alright. Look. Now that I know that she could, like the witch controls the, the birds and I'm seeing them everywhere, it is a little alarming. Is this bird... Are you hiding in the tree? What kind of evil games are you playing? Look, where did the goat go? You. Where's the goat? <laughs> she does. Oh my god. Wow, this is a pretty nice fishing hut. He's like, I need a good fishing spot. The witch is like, it's where you built your fishing shack. That's where you should fish. She's good. But I won't pay her. Alright. I actually haven't heard the goat much. Pumpkin lady, did you eat it? No. Hmm. It's a dangerous game, this goat. Whoa. Is that a goat or a bird? I, I couldn't even tell you. I think that's the bird, actually. Hundred percent goat? Okay. Goat. Where'd you go? Yeah, you know, Nan, I don't know um about this one. The the videos I've seen looked really good, but 
this is early access, so it might not have, you know, completely been developed, but you get to build a house and stuff at some point. Just haven't really seen that yet. All right, here. I'll move the pumpkins further in for you. Is this what you want? Is this the kind of labor you're looking for? I'll put this right on your bed. You'll never be rid of them. That's a good point. It sure did. Valheim's great. Alright, there you go, lady. I did it. I've harvested all the pumpkins. Look at that. They're all done. I'm so grateful. This is for you. I hope you have some use for it. My name is Dunja, by the way. It's such a pleasure meeting a fellow pumpkin lover. I, I don't actually like them. Oh, she gave me a table. Goodbye. Alright, so I could try to do like every single mini quest, which is not a bad idea, but um, this goat is, you know, frustrating me, and I don't see it. I hear something, but I don't see a goat. Oh, there it is. I got it. I can't wait to throw it down the well. I mean, here's your goat. I found her. She's fine. Oh, there you are. Where'd you find her? Um, close to the well. Thank the highest lord she didn't fall in, and thanks to you as well. Here, take this. With all my appreciation, it's all I can afford. May you look upon it and smile. Oh, it's a goat painting. Well, who wouldn't want a goat painting? That's right, the greatest of all time indeed, right? Um, here, I don't want this goat anymore. I thought I gave it to you. Here you go. That's yours. You've won. She's like, here you go. It's a, it's a goat hide hat that I made. It's exactly the same size as this goat. Don't ask. All right, I'm gonna go find the old lady. Something tells me that's when the real. Oh my god, I'm in the swamp. The real fun begins. Look, witch, I need to talk to you. I mean, I didn't call you witch. That was somebody else. Oldie, very old one. Foo foo, what's that size smell? Someone dares approach my door. Ah, a child. Hmm, of course. Don't you know it's rude to be late, child? I've been waiting for you for quite some time. Hmm, perhaps you too have been waiting for me. Either way, child, we meet at a crossroads. <laughs> I don't want that mechanic, Kirby. Where we go from here, only time will tell. Alright, she's letting me in. Alright, her appearance is unreal. I gotta get to that level of witch work. I'm not there. Well, look at ya. Weak and alone in the world like a newborn kitten, you stumble forth into my garden. Tell me, little kitten, what brings you here? No answer for me? That's fair, that's fair. We hardly know each other. Yet perhaps we always have another life, another lives. It's all the same to me. Totally normal conversation unfolding here. Fantastic. Yeah, we were kind of railroaded, weren't we? But enough of idle chatter. There's work to be done. There's always work to be done. My shelves are empty and my belly grumbles like a Koshche wife. Hot water and herbs do not a meal make. Bring me some ingredients to make a tasty soup. You'll find a recipe book on the bench. Hmm, looks like you need a fattening up too, kitten. You may borrow my birds, but know that they are more precious to me than any other creatures that breathes upon the earth. Look, I am getting the birds. Now it's about to be time. 
And you, my children of wing and claw, see that this kitten knows her herbs from her weeds. You really are, like, going all in on this kitten thing. I'm actually a human being. And if she tries to run, well, you know what to do. Get to the bench and take the book. I got the book. Um, tab to open your journal. In your journal, go to quests and see what the old woman wants you to do. Uh, the old woman wants you to collect some honey. In, in your journal, click on collection, then items. Find the honeycomb to learn more about it. Okay, so we need six honeycombs and ten mushrooms. Alright, so collection and items. And then honeycomb. And then this says honeycomb. Mainly found high up in trees. Oh boy. Consult your journal if you're lost. Now press tab to close it. <laughs> Thank you, Nan. I appreciate that, my friend. Oh, she's got some. The chickens don't want to hear that, Alex. Alright, so I need to go find stuff. Can I use these birds to help get the stuff out of the trees? One more thing. A challenge, perhaps. Certainly more challenging than finding me some simple mushrooms. The Lutki have stolen my magical talisman again. Lutki are spirits, very excitable spirits, especially when you have a pocket full of berries. You will find those wretched blocks of wood deeper in the forest. Find them, retrieve what they stole. Once you have the talisman, you can use its power to come back here more swiftly. That would be nice. But if you return without it, my next soup will be a little meatier. Now go. Stumble on, little kitten. I got a lot of jobs from this lady. The pumpkin people are nicer. Home of the Lutke. You've been told a location. Okay. Alright, so these birds are flying around my head, apparently. I guess that's good. Um, let me see here. This is where I am. This is where the Lutke are. And this is the goat place. I need to find... Um, honeycombs. It says they're up in trees, so... I don't know. Um, collect nearby items, I guess. So I... Oh, I just hold the left mouse button and the birds are, like, going to do this for me. So I got five mushrooms just like that. Oh, that was easy. Okay. Yeah, give me the mushrooms. Did it. Okay, so the game got um, a lot easier now that I have magical birds. So I could just gather stuff and here comes all the, the stuff for me. Alright, I got a bunch of mushrooms. I'm feeling great. Let's go do this. Oh, there's the honey. Aim. And then collect distant items. Go get it. Got the honeycombs. I see some more honeycombs. Get it. Got it. Alright. What's that bag? Hit it. God's name is that. It's just a chair. I'll take a chair. <laughs> Looks great. It's birch indeed. Ooh, a book with lavender. Now I'm getting all kinds of good stuff. All right, so look out for bags hang hanging from the trees. There's just treasure in them there, bags. Well, that's where you keep it if you don't want people to take it, but they didn't know about me and these birds. Honeycombs. Oh, there's trying to hide the honeycombs in the tree. I like to think those are bees just stinging me wantonly. Alright. Let me look at the map again. We need to... We're getting closer to the Lutke, that's for sure. I need berries, though. So I need to go find berries to summon them. Maybe we'll find them without berries, or berries will just be over here. We'll see. Let's see. I think it said in collections with items, there's raspberries. And grow in forest clearings. Oh, they're right in front of me. Okay, great. 
This must be the berries that the luck key like. I'm gonna get a bunch. Look at this. I'm gathering so many. Come on, Lutkey. Oh, I see him. Look. Look at those blocks of wood. <laughs> They're like the Koroks from uh, Zelda. Here, interact. Give Barry. I got an, an hanging herb. I got more herbs. Onion braid. I mean, I'm getting stuff. I need the talisman. Come on, Lucky. So you are the Lucky. Oh, it seems like one of you got stuck under some planks. Oh, I see that. Um, I'm getting... The birds took the wood off. Yes, we found it. <laughs> Matches would be awful. Um, press H to teleport back at any time. No, they give you stuff. You just have to give them berries. We're teleporting back, people. We made it. I'm in the house. Come in, come in. What are you waiting for? Um, well, hopefully don't you don't murder me. Um, there was a lot of threats. Tell me, little kitten. That's a really nice chair you have. Do you have a name? Rekka? Hmm, I see. Yes, Rekka, of course it is. Do you know your name means river? Rivers are important, vital. The arteries of the world, they bring life. Perhaps you do too. Well, did you get all the ingredients? Good, we'll need them for the ritual. Oh, did I say soup? My mistake, so easy to get the two mixed up in a mind that has lived as long as mine. Fools think that witchcraft is mainly about rituals. It's actually a lot more about soup. Never underestimate the power of a full belly. Now then, River Kitten, let's continue. The ritual calls for a few more items. We already have the mushrooms and honey you collected. We'll also need a sturdy length of pine. You don't have one on you, do you? No? So many folk really have no idea what's important in life. So many uses for a nice pine branch. In front of my hut, there's a small island. On it stands a giant crooked pine. Snap off a branch and return it to me. Oh, and on your return, acquaint yourself with the chickens. Chickens are important. Many think of chickens to be dumb birds. Not a bit of it. They're just playing dumb. Minds as sharp as their beaks. Man. That would be like the ultimate long con for chickens forever. If it was just a conspiracy among them, they're like, just keep pretending to be dumb. Get the pine branch, select a chicken you like to look of, and bring them both to me. I'll wait for you behind the hut and begin the preparations. Soon. Soon it will be time. Soon you will rise again. All right. Crooked pine. Okay. I'll get you a crooked pine. Um, I mean, maybe. The crooked pine is... Oh, very close. Okay, over here. It's this thing. Alright. Snapping it. Snapped it. Chicken. Chicken is totally going to be fine. Nothing will happen to the chicken. I feel good about that. Um, where'd she go? Oh my god, she's got a lot of firewood. Finally, you've graced us with your presence. Now follow me. Alright, alright. Follow you. Having a good time here. We're just, you know, just a couple of friends walking together. I see that you've got a little cape. I I wouldn't mind one of those. You appear to have woven hay and some dried flowers into a nice kind of collar attachment. Um, this looks like a bone altar. This is the place where we fell all those years ago. 
those who would not listen and those who would not be heard. And we fell, as we all do, but my friend, my love, my child, do not get back up. I researched or searched for answers far and wide. Eventually I returned here, cast my mind wide, sent out a calling and waited, waiting for the right kind of mind to answer, one that understood pain, understood loss. Now we must no longer delay. Take that chicken over to the old oven. I knew it. Oh, don't be so concerned. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll make itself at home in that nest. Oh, it's a nest. Besides, it's about to ascend to heights that such birds rarely reach. Okay. Sure. Just putting Calcifer here in the fire for Howl's Moving Castle. Get in there. Did it. Do you have the branch I told you to find? Good. While I start the sigil, I need you to cleanse the space. Hold your branch to the candle's flame until it ignites. Then sweep its powerful incense through the air. Alright, um, light the pine branch. Sweeping it. That's it. Good, good. Follow me to the next one. Alright, um, I can do this. These are big bones. Lighten it. Yes, yes, very good. Quickly, on to the next. All right, all right. You got a lot of candles. Gotcha. That final one. All right, here we go. Nice jump, old lady. Lighten it. You can follow clear instructions. That's promising. In my hut by the front door, there's a shrine to my ancestors. One of them saw fit to leave me an egg. We'll need it for the ritual. It's not like a chicken's egg at all, River Kitten. Foolish talk. Although it will hatch something, if all goes to plan. It has sat dormant for many years, but hopefully it can still provide us with what we need. Bring it to me. Oh, and pick up some grain from my garden on your way. We'll need that later. All right, all right. I'll help you. Just this once. You want grain? I don't know. Is that grain? What's that? Grain? I'm t I'll take everything. I got grain. It's all mine. Right, birds? I can't jump that. Okay, I gotta go the other way. Where's that egg? Interact. Um, no, that's to make stuff. I need the egg. Uh, I could read her notes. That's the, oh, here it is. Oh my, it's like a Fabergé egg. All right, sure, sure. You're very valuable. Here's the grain that I'm supposed to pick up. I got some grain. <laughs> she really is, Siloam. That's it. Good, good. Isn't it a thing of wonder? You just wait. Now put it in the oven. All right, it's going in the oven. You tell me what to do with it. Put it in there. Almost there. It's time for us to make our offerings. We will honor many gods in this ritual. Perhaps you will learn more of them in time. If you prove yourself. For now, we must honor the goddess of fertility. I have placed bowls on all four sides of the bones. I'll start with this one. You go to the bowl at the back, River Kitten, and place some honeycomb within it. All right, all right. You want the honeycomb? I got the honeycomb. Did it. Now we both walk clockwise around the house to the next bowl. Okay. And when I tell you, place some grain in the bowl. If you don't have any, you'll find it in my garden. Oh, I got some. I got the grain. Yes, it's working. Wait, it's working? The river kitten is capable. Hmm. Hermie, we might be. Come to me. We're not finished. Quickly now. All right, oldie. Calm yourself, very old one. Take this. Be very careful with it. It's a charm blessed by the god of fire. A powerful, dangerous object in the wrong hands. Hush now, stop looking at your hands. They are the right ones. At least for now. 
Using this charm, I need you to dissolve the bones surrounding this site, each and every last one. We need to harness their essence. Go. I need to focus on the next step. Do not disappoint me. I cannot be disappointed again. Oh, and be respectful. The one you dissolve meant more to me than you will ever know. Um, okay. I'm just going to go dissolve some bones. <laughs> it's cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just walked by it, and they keep going. Yep, they there they go, the bones. We're erasing the bones. Oh, my God. This thing was huge. God's name was this. I know, there's so many steps, Silo. This is a dragon? Just a little more. Alright, oh my gosh, look at the erasure of the bones. Did I do it? That's all of them, come back to me. Um, okay, I can barely see. Give me back that charm. You're far too inexperienced to hold such power longer than necessary. How did it feel to wield the power of Svarog? Uh, great. Tingles, doesn't it? Like a nettle, nettle sting on the inside of your skin. Hmm. Don't grow too big for your boots. We're not done yet. Go back to my house and bring me embers from the oven. The ritual requires you carry them in red hot in your bare hands. Whoa, whoa. The ritual just got a little bit um, beyond what I'm willing to do. Don't look at me like that. Carrying embers should not prove a problem to one who has wielded uh, Zvarog's power. Now get to it, quickly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know, Alex. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, we just need to get some embers. Okay, let's just reach our hands in the old oven. I'm not flinching. It's good. Something's going on over here. You are brave, River Kitten. I hope at last. Give the embers to me. There is one last thing I need from you. Come closer. It's your severed head. What? What? Just come closer. There, don't look like that. It was only a small prick. Just a drop of blood. You won't miss it. Blood is key. I, I miss it right now. Blood is the bond. See how the embers absorb it. The living embers. They have burned bright for generations. Fire passed from home to home. Their age dwarfs even mine. The living embers gave life to my love a long time ago. And new life they shall give today. I am, Hermie. The asbestos is strong in me. This last part I must do alone. You did well, little river kitten. Let's hope it was not the last time. But for now, watch and learn. She's about to do something really cool, I think. This is... This is where she shows off. Alright, let's watch this. Ember Tornado. Whoa. Oh my god. It's cracking. Granny. Oh, there it goes. The witch house. Old woman. For I am the beginning and the end. I cannot be unmade. I cannot be undone. I persist. The world shall remember Baba Yaga. It shall remember and tremble before the mother of witches. Phew. Now that, that was exhausting. Quite took the wind out of me, it did. Now sit down. Oh, swamp rats, it's not responding. Can't fix my mind. I can't control it. River kitten, tell it to sit down. Talk. Hut, hut, sit down. Bam. Look at that. 
You did well, Little River Kitten. You did not disappoint, at least not yet. There is potential in you. You have a quick mind. You see beyond what others do. You are a natural witch, perhaps even born to it. Few can do what you did. Look around you. Look at what you've created. This will be our house. Our home. You know, I hate to be a bother. I was kind of thinking it'd be my house, and, you know, you could have your own house, and, uh, you know, we have some boundaries, but... But I will allow you to build it yourself. Furnish it. Decorate it. Make it just how you imagine. Embrace the light or the darkness. The grand or the humble. We will live in it and travel the lands within its walls. Yeah, so we're kind of back on that little sticking point, the whole we thing. It seems like you got a good thing going here. You do you. This is like your area. You're in charge. I'm going to take this new house. I walk it away. Kind of make my own path. I will take the largest room. Baba Yaga needs her space. And it's more than a fair price for what I could teach you if you're willing to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's a good trade. If you are, take this wood and begin to build a future. All right. Oh, she gave you a bunch. That's 132. That's a lot. Stand on top of the wooden platform and press B to enter build mode. I will. Press R and Q to switch through the categories and select building parts. Okay. Small furniture, items, door, walls, decorations, books, friends, illumination, house. Okay. Use E to build a small floor for your new home on top of the platform. Okay. All right, yeah, you can see I'm I'm making some more flooring here. Hover above any of your placed parts and press C to store it away. Okay. So, I'm trying to figure out like what is here and what isn't here. Because it looks like there's floor. But then sometimes I can like build over it. Okay, if it's a green outline, that means it's new. White outline means it's there. Red means you can't build it there. So I'm just kind of filling in the gaps. Okay. Um, I've got a lot of flooring built. I can store something away. I'm going to store it out of the way. Use your mouse wheel or D-pad to select the wall piece. Okay. Yeah, let's build some walls for sure. All right, so now we get to see, like, the kind of, um, you know, building element. Um, let's see. I want to make this not do what it's doing. You rotate with... Um, oh, I see. With the left mouse button is how you rotate. Okay. Here. Can I not build a wall right there? Maybe it's too close to that. Maybe I need to store this away. Hmm. Let's go ahead and put this down. Expand this a bit. And then see if I can build some walls. What I want to do... Here we go. I'm going to put these away. And then I'm going to go down the wall and... That is correct. That's what I want to do. And then she wants to build, build a roof piece, okay? Hover above a wall to snap the roof to it. Then hold left mouse button and drag it to... Oh, you have to place it and then drag it. Okay. There. Oh, okay. Nice. All 
I'm just gonna wall this in here. All right, so I'm kind of like building on this back wall. Now, I don't know how to build a, a corner roof. That might not be a technology that I have yet. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this interior division for now. Uh, we can go back to the wall itself there. All right. So, um... We built a little bit. Good. Go ahead and place my chair now. Time does not rest, but I need to. Oh my god, yeah, that's that really scary chair that she got. So we need to stand on the platform and push B, and we gotta go over to like small furniture and put her chair down. Here you go, you could sit like right there. Hold this and oh okay and you can slide it around there you go there you go there's your chair oh she sat in it she's in it she's like i'm down make her face the corner witch style i don't know if she'd get that joke that'd be funny though now i'll give you one last seat an ancient one just for you but know that this is no ordinary chair it will allow you to speak to the hut directly for you will be guiding us in your journey up the river. Think of it like the brain of this place. Position the chair and talk to it. Believe me, you will find yourself speaking with things much stranger than the chair in your travels. Such is the life of a witch. Steer the hut through the forest to where the fog is at its deepest. Enter to leave this part of the world. Know that when you do, we may never return here, so make sure you've tied up your affairs and explored as much of the land as you wish. I sense that there are still some places left undiscovered. And I got the skeleton chair. Oh. Um, why, thank you. I really appreciate this. Build the bone chair. So you could speak to it. Yeah, why wouldn't I want to do that? Functional. You know, I wouldn't have put this in the functional category, but I guess... I guess it is, uh... Exactly as you say. Functional. Hi. How are ya? Um... Were you the chicken from the... The... The ritual? Or... Hi. Yeah, that always is good, right, Hermie? When they give you that warning. Oh, my goodness. Chicken-legged house. Happy clucking. Um, goodbye. Yeah. We need some serious... We're going to need some pillows, too, Alex. There's no lumbar support. It's... Charming. In a Dia de los Muertos... Uh, kind of way. Um, so... Let me look at the outside of the house. I'm kind of curious, you know, what we have wrought on the back portion. Oh, yeah. Our roof has a nice little slant to it. Very, very interesting angle that we've done. And we could get the house to stand up. We can make it larger. We can build, you know, different levels and things. Um, I could also just gather up all these supplies from the house to where it fell. I might as well. I don't think weight matters at all in this. I just pick it all up. Whatever. Just walk around. It's pretty fun. You could just hold left click and just run around. And then your birds will just destroy and pick everything up for you. It's a, a pretty fun system. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, I'm getting a lot of lumber. I, I thought for sure, you know, at some point in the game like this, they're like, alright, you need to make an axe. Like, no, no, there's no axe. The, the birds will take care of that. I can't wait to go talk to that fishing guy. Hi, it's me. I've brought the birds to you directly. About the payment to Baba Yaga.
So, if I look at the map, um, you know, we could go back to the wood spirits. There's a few more things marked here on the map. We help Pumpkin Lady. We help Goat Lady. Uh, we know that they, we have some other quests that we could do. We could explore, definitely. Further still, is this like a grave or something up here? Oh, we got, we took some books from the graveyard. All right, yeah, yeah, good idea. I definitely should have taken those books. So, um, oh, the house stood up. Now, I don't think I asked it to do that. That's, that was, oh, just because I, maybe it just helps me find it. Because it's easier to locate when it stands up like that. <laughs> so, we have ourselves a walking house. How about that? Well, Everyone, I think this is a great first look at Rekka for the first half of our dual part stream this evening. I'd love to know what your impressions are so far. Remember, this is pretty early access, but um, it's building up to be quite an interesting little game here about being a witch in a walking house. 